Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, is the Bible sufficient? Well, before anything else, I think it helps to ask, sufficient for what? The Bible is a collection of ancient books, and is therefore sufficient to be a collection of ancient books. Now, what I think people mean by this question is whether the Bible is sufficient for us. Do we need more than just the knowledge in the Bible? Well, there is one clear way to prove that we need more knowledge than just what's in the Bible. If we didn't need extra-biblical knowledge, then the Bible would contain all the information that we needed. However, we need to know what books belong in the Bible, and this information is not contained in the Bible itself. It lists general categories of books belonging to the Old Testament, under the term the Law and the Prophets. But nowhere in the Bible will you find a list of all the books that belong in the New Testament, or even a list specifically of all the books belonging to the Old. Furthermore, the earliest Bibles were in Greek. Did those Bibles contain a translation guide for Greek? No, and yet we clearly need that knowledge in order to read them if we don't already read Greek. For all of these reasons, we can safely say that not everything we need to know is contained in the Bible, so it can't possibly be sufficient on its own. In fact, the question of what books belong in the Bible brings up another interesting point. The only real way to prove that the Bible is God's word is to appeal to another authority. If you don't appeal to another authority over the Bible, every attempt made to prove that the Bible is God's word boils down to circular reasoning. Yet if you do appeal to such an authority, you then have more than one authority, not just the Bible, from which to derive evidence about the truth. For obvious reasons, I pick the latter. I don't necessarily say that the Bible can't stand on its own, but rather that the canon of the New Testament is foundationless unless you appeal to some other authority. After all, how do we really know which books are supposed to be in the Bible? Remember, these were all separate documents, even as late as 100 AD. Canons of scripture didn't begin to appear in the early church until at least 180 AD, when the four gospel canon was proposed by Irenaeus, and it might be even later than that, as late as 200 AD, before the church father Origen began using a complete New Testament canon, essentially the same as the one we use today. That's still enough time for Christians to be born, live, and die at a ripe old age without ever knowing what books the Bible consisted of. Another problem with the claim that everything we need to know is in the Bible is that it's not one of the recognized and established methods of proof, deduction, induction, mathematics, science, and perception slash experience, and so can't be demonstrated to other people. To found belief in such an essentially unreliable and indemonstrable thing would be an act at the very least of disobedience to St. Peter when he says, But sanctify the Lord Christ in your hearts, being ready always to satisfy everyone that asketh you a reason of that hope which is in you. 1 Peter 3.15 there are also questions of whether or not human beings have any reason to think the Bible is from God, and whether or not human beings have passed that word on faithfully. If all you have to rely on is the Bible itself, the answer to the first question would be no. The answer to the second question is most definitely not, since so many different versions of the Bible exist, in contradiction with each other, and in any case, many people have never seen one and couldn't read it even if they did. Now. I've found answers to all of these questions, but I couldn't find them in the scriptures alone. Next, can we be saved without reading the Bible? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.